<laughs> so hey y'all welcome back to my channel or whatever if you are new here hey girl welcome i hope that you join the fam i do videos on beauty fashion and lifestyle so if you like you know my vibe my personality or whatever make sure you click that subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell and it will notify you each and every time i upload a video and follow your girl at i design it on instagram because your girl do a little bit not too much but a little bit of slaying over there on the gram or whatever so yes, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be doing my beginner. Why did my lights turn off? Y'all, literally my power just turned off. Like, why? What the hell? Y'all, that is so crazy. I never had that happen before. I don't know, that's weird, but you know, call me Bob the Builder, okay? Because your girl just got the lights back on by herself. She ain't need to call nobody or anything, period. But anyway, so as y'all can tell by the title, we are going to be doing my beginner perfume haul. And I'm so excited because as you guys know, or if you've been watching my vlogs, I've literally been trying to build my perfume collection. And I just been really wanting to tap into that side of, you know, more of like the high-end perfumes instead of body sprays that i get from victoria's secret and uh bath and body works ain't nothing wrong with that girl okay because i still you know sh sh every now and then i just really wanted to start tapping into that area and just smelling different girl i don't really have a lot here but i do have you know a good bit i'm always open to trying new perfumes a lot of the perfumes that i'm going to show you or tell you about today um are really perfumes that um kind of are like a little bit flirty floral smells um may some may be a little bit sweet but i am so 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 open to trying um any other perfumes that you know i don't have if you have a favorite girl or if you're like girl this is the perfume that everybody and their mama got and you need to get this go ahead and drop that below okay like i'm trying to build here okay? so all of the perfumes should be listed in the description box below if you are interested so make sure you're checking down below for everything all right so the first perfume that i have here is the mark jacob daisy love i feel like this perfume right here is just like the beginner starter pack perfume if that makes sense like when i say starter pack it's just like everybody and their mama got this perfume or whatnot or everybody and their mama has tried this um so this one right here was a must for me because i hear a lot of people talk about mark jacobs um daisy love perfume so 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 much so i was like yes let me go ahead and get this perfume here um first off i just love the little packaging i got the one ounce bottle and i just love how it just has like, this little flower i'm a sucker for flowers but i just like the little flower here as a top you just take it off and yeah it smells really good to me so in the fragrance family it says that it's a floral scent so i got this from ulta and the one ounce is 60 dollars um so very much i would say affordable um for a perfume the highest this goes up to is 3.4 ounces and that's 108 dollars um the scent type is like a sweet floral and the key notes it says here so the top is crystallized cloud berries the middle is daisy tree petals and the base is cashmere musk and driftwood i just really love the way that this smells so this is something that i would wear personally on a nice spring day for maybe like church um i don't know if people are going to church now but like if you were going to church or like brunch or something it just gives you a really nice sweet refreshing you know smell in my opinion yes this is that one so the next perfume i got here is mark jacob i'm not going in any type of order i'm honestly just grabbing the perfumes next perfume is another mark jacob perfume it is called uh perfect and i got the 1.6 ounce here which is 96 dollars i also got this from ulta um i get a lot of my perfumes from either ulta or sephora um i also like the packaging uh, at first i wasn't in love with the packaging um you know at ulta they just have the top off so this is all you see um i didn't really pay attention to what like the top will look like i know some people that may not matter but at first i wasn't really a fan of like the top but i actually grew to love it like i just really think it gives a character it's a little bit different so yes it has like a little bowl banana shoes dice stars cherries a little cat but the fragrance family is floral again because you know again like i said i really like floral um the scent type is a warm floral um so i think that's also important if you don't like anything that's like too out there loud or whatever you want something that's very subtle um i also recommend just kind of like starting off like if you're starting off and you want to build your perfume collection just starting off the smallest bottle they have even though you smell it in the store which i would kind of recommend to go in and smell it in the store just to make sure that's something that you love because the 
perfume is not cheap, okay? Like, it is not cheap. Generally, it's gonna run you about $100 a bottle, generally, or whatever, and some of them I have seen like 300 plus or whatnot. It says that the keynotes, the top is Rebarb Girl. That's just too much for me to say. <laughs> uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, but I think it's Rebarb or something and daffodil and the middle is almond milk and the base is cashmere in. like i mentioned earlier from the description this is also a nice warm floral scent when you just want to kind of tone it down a little bit so yes really love this now, so the next perfume i have here is chance by chanel i also feel like chanel is like one of those brands that everyone gets no matter what like you have to have some chanel perfume in your collection this right here i love so freaking much like i have gravitated to this a lot lately first of all the packaging is just as simplistic as it gets you get what i'm saying like it's just really not much to it which i personally love at the 1.7 fluid ounce from ulta and that was 85 dollars the fragrance family for this one is also floral and it says the keynotes is grapefruit and jasmine this one right here i just love oh my god like i said y'all i would gravitate to this like a lot i'm like girl hold on okay let's try a little song let's try something different when i don't want to use too much a lot of these may seem like i haven't really used them but i have because like i said a little bit goes a long way it is still a very nice perfume to have so here's the next perfume i got which is also by chanel it's called gabrielle and this one here i believe is a 1.7 um fluid ounce the 1.7 is 108 dollars this is also in the floral family keynotes of this is um jasmine um as you can tell i just love jasmine um but jasmine and orange blossom packaging is super cute it just looks very uh traditional i love the simplistic packaging like i just don't feel like you have to do the most but i also like some packaging that has like you know a little bit of an artistic feel to it as well now i don't really gravitate towards this a lot like i still picked it up i just really wanted a lot of chanel perfumes here in my collection like you ain't got a collection without chanel that's that's in my opinion okay don't come for me okay now that i really look at the keynotes i'm like yes i can smell that here you can smell the orange it's kind of like an orange zest you know what i mean this is still a very nice spring and summer scent you want something that's a little bit more smooth i won't really go with this because this is kind of like floral but tangy if that makes sense um but i would just suggest you smell it and see for yourself like i said the way that i smell things is different from how you would smell it so yes i was trying to look this up on the internet but i don't know what this is girl is but this is also another chanel um this is just a girl i don't even know how to pronounce it okay i don't so i'm not even gonna try at all i'm just gonna put it up here on the screen give you a little close-up girl but this is a limited edition um bottle i actually got this in a pr gift it was my first little high-end perfume ever and it was like a limited edition i got this for christmas um so yeah but this is 3.4 okay 3.4 fluid ounces the bottle to me is not something that i would typically go for i got this perfume about like three years ago okay girl well, i rarely ever use it i like to cherish things like this okay things that are limited edition you can't just go to the store and just grab and get i like to cherish things like this and i'm just not gonna do too much spraying in 2020 i don't think i use this at all i just recently used this whenever i went to dinner because i was feeling real grown now this is that grown woman scent right here okay them other other ones like I like them you know, they're kind of like floral playful whatnot this right here grown woman okay grown woman status with this one like this is a scent that reminds me of my mom and my grandma so it has that type of scent but it's still very sexy with it if that makes sense I found something on the internet I don't know if this is that or not but if you have it girl and you know the keynotes of this scent you know like I said leave it down below I don't really like to give false information but it says here that the top notes are lemon lime orange bergamot um out of the highs girl i would have this for years and years to come because like it's like a special perfume for me like it was my first ever you know high-end perfume and then also i got this in pr and that was my first pr package ever that was like customized to me so I thought this was really, really nice. All right, y'all, so here is the next perfume that I have here, which is the Case Bay. We're coming down to the end. Um, I think that this smells so good. Like, I don't know if y'all can see or not, but I have literally been using this heavy, 
okay heavy a little bit definitely goes a long way and i find that this perfume does last me throughout the day this right here is a everyday scent um so i have the 1.3 fluid ounce and that is $55, so I also think that this is very affordable for a perfume. And again, the fragrance family is floral. The um, scent type is fruity floral. I don't think that it's super duper sweet. I don't like super sweet smells because it gives me a headache. Um, even though it's fruity floral, I just think that it's still a very light and airy scent. Um, the keynotes, the top is strawberry and bergamot. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Middle is rose essence. The base is Ambrox and <laughs> Cashmere and um, Girl. Again, it's gonna be on the screen, so yes. The packaging is very simplistic. A little pink top here with this the um, Kate Spade symbol, so super cute. I also got this one from Ulta here, which is the KKW and Chris um, collection. This is just only one fluid ounce and it was only $40, so very, very, very affordable. The fragrance family is floral and the um, scent type is a woody floral. This is definitely a woody floral, I would say. Um, let me see. I would say this could be an everyday scent. It's not too out there. It's not very strong. This could be a nice cute lunch or a dinner scent. But yeah, for the spring and summer, you know, it is a woody floral. It is still very light. Um, and I think that this can also be like a nice work scent too. The keynotes, girl, I'm not even going to worry about pronouncing all this stuff in the keynote so just look on the screen the packaging for this is really cute um as you can see it just comes into this very neutral cream bottle here it just has a mother and child symbol right here in the middle someone says that it smells like um just like a sweeter version of gucci bloom if you're familiar with the scent of gucci bloom someone said it's like a sweeter version of that so yeah girl the philosophy fresh cream scent um i have to go back and get some more of this um literally i am completely empty oh my gosh girl like this one right here is literally a scent for me it smells like straight vanilla and vanilla is literally like my all-time favorite, favorite scent. If I really had to choose a scent that I had to live with forever in a day, it would be vanilla. Like, that's, I just love it. This one is two fluid ounces, and it was $45, so very much affordable. So as far as the fragrance family, it's a little bit different. This one is warm and spicy, and um, the scent type is warm and sweet um, gourmet. Okay, girl, I'm going to try and pronounce the keynotes. I think it's Helotrope. <laughs> Vanilla, I, I think I smell more of the vanilla than anything. Um, whipped cream and macadamia nuts. So yes, I really, really enjoy the scent here. Like as you can tell, I literally have used it all. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and add it to the basket right now for Sephora. But yes, I love, love, love this so freaking much, girl, so much. Going to my, I would say, more expensive perfumes. I only got two girl and this one right here is a replica and I actually got this in bubble bath. I was in Sephora it really took me a long time to figure out which percent that I want because I was looking at the price and I was like god damn. <laughs> like I was I was like all right I'm not gonna be able to get too many so I want to make sure the perfume that I choose from this brand is the right one. This one right here is a 3.4 fluid ounce and it was $135. So this one is definitely a go-to for the summer scent. The fragrance family is fresh. And I don't know about you, girl, but for me, whenever it comes to the summer, like because it's so hot, like I like very fresh airy scents because I just don't want to feel like you know I just don't want to feel like I'm just so much is on me you know what I'm saying it's just like you don't want to be greasy in the summer because just like all this grease and this hot weather like it's just too much scent type is fresh florals and I'll just throw the little keynotes up here girl because it's just too much sometimes to be pronouncing these words as far as the packaging I just love 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 so freaking much like right here at the top it has like this little rope detail and then on the bottle it just have like this little linen I would say um little stamp cloth over the bottle you know i don't really know how to describe it it just gives you the name of it and then also a description and it says that it is a female and a male fragrance so so yeah i really like this one like i said if you really like those fresh and airy scents but it gives you a tad bit of a uh, floral scent as well you would love 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 this one so definitely try it out and let me know if you like this or not girl all right girl and my last last scent here for today is ooh, we'll pull over that tom ford okay like you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you feel like you're doing something when you say you got Tom Ford in your collection. 
And this was actually the most expensive perfume that I have bought. Now, someone told me how to pronounce this on my vlog, uh, uh, but I forgot, girl. The girl on Google say... Metallique. Metallique. So this is the Tom Ford Metallique. <laughs> <laughs> really love this one. I tried to smell a lot of the Tom Ford scents and I honestly could not get down with them until I found this one. Um, a lot of the Tom Ford scents was very masculine, very overpowering, um, very strong. There's just something about it where I was just like, mm, it's not it, it's not giving me what I need. Because um, at the end of the day, whenever I put on a perfume, I really want to smell good and feminine and things like that. Not to say that I want dib and dab into some stronger masculine scents. I know I wanted something that if I was going to spend this type of money on, that I really wanted it to last me. I really wanted this to last me and something that I would actually wear. So this one right here is the 1.7 fluid ounce. So this is a bottle. This is how it looks. So this 1.7 ounce bottle is $150. This is the reason why I got this scent because the fragrance family is floral. Um, and then like I said, I'll put the keynotes up here. But it is definitely, oh my God, like I love this scent so much. Yes, it's floral, but it's a very sweet unique smell a lot of the other ones like you can really just tell hey they're a part of the floor family this one right here like you could tell this is a part of the floor family but it's just i don't know i don't know how to describe it and it also says that it has a vanilla and creamy sandalwood layer so that's probably why i like it so much girl because it got that vanilla in it okay so my camera cut off so i don't know where i left off at but i think i was saying like the packaging it gives me very sexy and grown vibes you know what i mean like it gives me money so i really don't mind the packaging at all now and i was using this like a lot and i was like girl please slow down okay like I got this back in March and I got this for my birthday because I was like, let me treat myself or whatnot. And then I was like, yeah, let your girl put on a little time for it for her birthday. And this was a scent. I had to pull back a little bit, girl, because I was like, baby, you using this a little bit too much. Like, <laughs> like this is that Bath and Body Works type of scent. Like, that's not that, okay? Like, y'all, I was wearing this to, I was um, spraying this on for baby showers. Like, they don't deserve that. Like, no, stop doing that, okay? So I had to cut back on this scent because I was getting a little bit too heavy handed with this scent. Y'all, I am super sorry like there's so much going on outside all right babes i hope you guys enjoyed my first ever perfume collection i hope that you guys enjoyed it okay try not to be too harsh on your girls when it came to pronouncing some of these perfumes and their keynotes and things like that i'm sorry if i butchered it <laughs> but it's just like they be doing the most like when i get to the point like use another word i appreciate you so freaking much you don't even know i hope that you have a great great day today and stay safe and i'll see you in my next video